Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask on Amazon. Today we're looking at something interesting. It is a KN95, at least that's what it's claiming to be, but it's got a KF94 design. And if you don't know what those means, oh man, you are in for probably a really boring video to be honest. But anyways, buckle up, get in the seat, and let's put this guy in the tester. Now, we are testing masks today. Why are we doing that? Well, I happen to have a $250,000 lab here. Figured you don't at home. So I'm gonna test these masks for you so you can see if they protect you or not. So I'm gonna put it in what I call the clamper because that's a technical term that everyone in the industry calls it. Look it up. It's not true. I just made it up. I don't think it has a name. All right, we'll let it rip. This is why we're here today. The PFE machine it stands for a particular filtration efficiency test. That's why we're here to see if this thing meets the claims that it Claims to me. All right. Uh, so this is a really great brand. We got this on Amazon. Good Mask Co. Good? Why not great? Um, all day comfort. It's claiming to be a KN95. Well, we know it's not. I can tell just by looking at the listing itself because it shows me the mask. All right. Because if it's a KN95, guys, I'm very exciting at parties. It's got to have a couple things that this mask doesn't have. So this has the model number, which you can barely see, but 8862 right there. And then it says KN95. Well, what it's missing is the manufacturer name and it's missing um, uh, the standard because there's a bunch of different KN95 standard. Now the KN95 standard is a Chinese standard. So it has to say on the mask, GB2626-2019. That way you know what standard it's held to. It's gonna look something like this. And then it's gotta say the uh, name of the manufacturer, which this doesn't say. Why don't they say that? Well, probably because whoever made this is really freaking awesome at branding. I mean, look at this. I love this design, good mask co. The box, you open up this like really nice bag. I don't know about that guy though. I wouldn't like lend that guy my like skateboard, even if it was about to break. I don't know, there's something about that guy. I just don't quite trust. Um, but the, the branding though is really good. Good Mask Co. Uh, this comes with it. Uh, if I look on the back though, it says manufacturer details. Guangdong Golden Leaves Technology Development Co. LTD. I almost have to take a breath before done saying that very, very long name. So to be a part of the CAN95 standard, they would literally have to write that entire name across this mask. And it would probably ruin the nice uh, branding they have already established here, the Good Co. If it said that, they'd be like, what is, what are you, you're talking about Good Co, now Golden Leaves doesn't make any sense. Probably why they left it off. But my question is always, if this is not a KN95 because it's not meeting standards, what other tests did they, did they skimp on? Because there's seven tests you have to pass. Um, other thing I'll just point out here, just because I'm a nasty person. <laughs> Good Mask Co, the masks you've received today are KN95s. Not technically. Um, Good Comfort KN95 masks filter 95% of, of all particles in the air. That's why 95 is in the name. Kind of true. Uh, it's actually filtering particles down to 0.3 microns, which is good. It's basically a, a good analog to what the coronavirus is if you're looking for that. But the question is, does this mask do that? I mean, they said they're a KN95 and they were lying to you about that. They did not meet the KN95 standard. But are they passing the test? Because really, at the end of the day, it all that matters. Let's check out what the machine says. The machine tells no lies, except for when it does. <laughs> okay, 99%. Hey, that's a good mask from a filtration efficiency standpoint. It would just be good if you didn't go so hard in the CAN 95, especially since most people think of this style of mask when, it, when you're talking about KN 95. I would call it a KF 94, if anything. I don't know. That's just me. All right. If this was helpful, uh, if you liked this video, uh, if you were uh, this guy's brother on the, on the mask, give me a like or a subscribe. I would appreciate it. Uh, or send me some mask to test. Would love that too. Either way, I will catch you on the next test.